Once the simulation has finished, the output can be accessed on the Output tab of the main window. The data is organized in an expanding tree ordered by study area, result type, and transmitter or receiver channels. Output from MIMO transmitters and receivers can be accessed through a separate MIMO output browser, allowing for viewing, exporting, and plotting of results from MIMO sets on a per-element basis. Here, we'll be looking at the received power from one of the elements of the MIMO transmitter to the receiver grid. Right-click on Channel Data for MIMO Analysis and select Browse Results to open the MIMO Output Browser. Ensure that the correct study area, transmitter set, and receiver set are selected in the available drop-down menus and enter 4 in the TX Element field. Select View in Project View and select Received Power in the Output Category and Data Type drop-down menus. Then click View. This shows the total received power from Element 4 of the MIMO base station in the scene. Output can also be exported to CSV files by selecting Export to File, choosing an Output category, and clicking Export. Other available MIMO output types include complex impulse response, H matrices, direction of arrival and departure, and more. To view the communication system output, expand the communication systems node on the output tab and expand the communication system that was run. Here, we'll be looking at throughput calculated according to the 5G wireless access method file we specified earlier. Expand throughput and the transmitter set, and right-click on the receiver set. Then select View, Throughput. Wireless Insight is a completely flexible tool that allows for fully customizable scenarios and parameters that can yield a much wider variety of metrics and output types than what were shown in this example. More information about Wireless Insight's capabilities can be found in the reference manual or on our website at remcom.com.